Speaking on leaning in, right? Um, we hear a lot of this from two different spectrums, and I'm curious to to uh to hear your opinion on it. Mm-hmm. What you think? Mm-hmm. We got engaged while you was pregnant, right? Uh, that's right. I, like I feel like it's it's two different type of yeah. conversations around that. Like you shouldn't do that, right? Because honestly, like having a kid is a lot. It's right. A lot. You don't know what's like. Oh, and it, and it, it's it's so funny. You want to know the honest truth. Yeah. So I had no idea you were going to propose at the baby shower. Mm. But one day I was being a cunt. This was early in my relationship, early in um, the pregnancy, excuse me. And I was like, I think I was telling like Diamond or something. I was like, Jay better not propose to me at the baby shower because we need two separate moments. Mm. Right? You did it. Of course, I didn't think about it or I think whatever. you told me that too. Yeah, but I, of course that happened. I was just excited. I wasn't thinking about it. I was like, oh my God, you know. Fiance, but uh, it's you know it's just funny that you say that because I remember just early on just you know we have a girl talk we just chatting and I'm like ah uh-uh, this thing better not propose to me at my baby shower you know what I'm saying you ain't gonna try you know two for one deal with me you better think about it on your free time mm. not when I'm giving you no baby I think that you know. When it happened, it didn't bother me. But you know, you know why I saying? did that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, more so because we moved. It was a, yeah, it was, it was, was really a, it's a way to get everybody in one spot at one time. Yeah. I understood why you did it. It made yeah. tons of sense. You know what I'm saying? All my friends were going to be there. Like, you know, it was like perfect timing. Got it. No, that's what I said in hindsight. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, but that was just a joke that we were like talking. I, I don't know. I can't really see a girl really like, uh uh-uh, uh, you proposed to me, my baby shower. Uh uh-uh, uh, I'm not, I'm, no, do it again. I'm not saying it's not girls who would do it, but I don't think that's really like a big deal. So do you think, I, uh, I know a lot more women that get proposed. Just proposing. Because we see a lot of times people so propose now, what I will pregnancy say and they is call it now, off a couple months later. Yes, like, do you, is that I, a smart thing? This is what I, 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 there is no right or wrong answer. I don't want to call something smart or not smart. Um, you know, postpartum ain't no hoe. Like, mm. it's, it's, it's I mean, you said it the other day, like, it. the best of them who lack sleep and lacks food can be the illest monster you can find. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? And... You know, through this postpartum stage, like, you know, we're lacking sleep. We're tired as hell even right now. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We're running on E right now. <laughs> like, straight up. Like, yeah. we're running on E. We tired. We can't keep our... We trying to make sure we eat right. But we around the clock with a newborn right now. It's hard. Like, you know what I mean? I think that, you know, s- some foundations, it's hard to make it through that process. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like a food, like a sleep. However... I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think you, you gotta make sure your foundation's solid. Like you know what I mean. You gotta make sure y'all leaning in on each other. It ain't. Uh, this is we not we are not competing and comparing. We're we're, we're collaborators. You mm. get what I'm trying to say. Like we're doing this together. It's not a, who did this more. Or who it's not a contest. Like we're really leaning in. You got that? Okay, I got this. You got that? I got this. I got this this time. You got that. And I think we ended up executing that flawlessly mm. and without conversation. And it might have just been, like I said, we had a, our prep time to lean in on each other through the pregnancy forcefully, but it worked. You know what I'm saying? But I think you have to get in line before that comes because it's, it, it gets, it's hard. It's hard. I don't know if I would suggest proposing why your girl is pregnant. I don't know. Um, you, you you have a regret? Nah. So the only thing I will say, like, it's I'm it's, it's my regret. mine ain't got nothing to do with the pregnancy or nothing. I just feel like it pushes the wedding and stuff out because now you have a baby and now and now like, right now we gotta get through this newborn stage and get and get household and right. I, you know, planning a wedding, which we are doing, and you know we are doing other things too, courthouse, whatever. Our stage of how we're gonna do it, however. But certain things got to be pushed out, like it do. I'm I mean, she, so that she, that was for me, but it wasn't she, really the postpartum stage well and again i could be a little biased because our postpartum stage is working out well right now you know what i mean so i you know it's funny I, um i think i was talking to this before, about it before i mean unless you like getting pregnant like super early in a relationship and it what? might sound crazy i would suggest proposing earlier in the relationship than waiting a couple years down the line. I don't think so. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to call that one off if we did I'm, that. I'm going to tell you why. A year to win. No, I'm going to be a wrap, I mean, I'm going to tell you why, though. I feel like... And that would have cost a lot more hardship. No, nah, nah, but it's... it's uh, Harder to come it's back e- from. Nah, it's easy to say that, but you never know. I say that to say, look at everything we went through. Okay. Right? Me, personally, I think it's so much harder to propose going through so much because... Now you know... Not, not even that. It's, we look at each other differently. Think about how. Think about the times we had when we yeah. first met each other. Like yeah. how you looked at me, how I looked. Like just think yeah. about those times. It was great times, right? Yeah. 
And again, because we're human, we go through some things. You don't look at me the same. You feel me? Like, even if we're working through it, and that's fine. I'm just saying, I feel like, and just everything is being a man. Just everything. Mm-hmm. Them, all the time that, let me talk about from, from my perspective, all the time that I put in as a man, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's going to sound crazy. It's it's kind of for nothing. Because now the real work starts when we get married. <laughs> so all, think about, we did all those years and we all, still got to get married. Bro, all six, yeah. almost six years we did, right? Yeah. And we still got to get married. And the real work starts when we get married. So it's like, bro, we, we should have well get married. We should have just got, we should have been married. We could have been married I, for six years. I get years. that. I, I'm think, not, I get, I get what why, you're saying. Let me ask you this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell my daughter this, um, mm-hmm. my best friend this. Why, if I was your best friend, right? If I was mm-hmm. a woman, I don't know. Why go through all that with anybody and you don't have no so ring? So question, do, agree. So a question. So you know how a lot of people like, a man who know, no. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? A man don't got to wait. Five years, six years to propose. They know first six months, a year, mm-hmm. whatever. What's the that to me? It would be you saying the same thing. It depends on the age, right? I had to arrive here to to understand right. this. But imagine all the places you did not arrive at that time. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I didn't know this at so, 26. So I think so. For me, I think it's backwards a little to what you're saying. My perspective. I just think like if 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 you like say. In our situation, mm-hmm. if you would have proposed that early and then we would have hit all those stops, I would have been felt I would have felt more compelled to leave because I wouldn't have wanted to have been trapped. You know what I'm trying to say? I wouldn't want to have been trapped in situations that like, damn, we hit here. We hit here. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to get married now because this is where we are. I, mean, I feel like I kind of had to forgive you or to- you had to forgive me. To move past it, to understand what we already got, we yeah. already know each other. We already know what we're getting. We're going to talk about. We're going to talk about. It. Okay, go ahead, babe. The vows say to death do us part. Okay. So, so all I'm saying is, if we got, if we took them vows, right? Yeah. Wh- whatever we went through, yeah. Right, we should better work through that. Okay. Because of marriage, because of what we have on paper. I agree with what you're saying, right? And even even if we're gonna talk about, it, we're gonna talk about it. Even our spiritual journey that we're on right now, in following, trying to follow the word to the T, right? Mm. Would have been I, done. It would have been done because then I wasn't where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then I would have been more compelled to have a divorce because yes, I hear what God's saying and I love God. However, I'm not getting trapped to you. You acting like this because you getting on my f-ing nerves and you gonna make me kill you? No, but I'm I mean, not doing that. Mm-mm. We talked about it, but it also like I mean what. It, the vows would have been probably broken, or something like that. Like, it's just been, uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, yeah, so all I mean. vows would like, you know, that's but who knows? Just, I probably, no, 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 I'm gonna give myself more. No, nah, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna give myself more credit than that. No, but anyway, I say to say, all I'm saying is, we didn't, I feel like. It makes more sense to me for us to get married now because I feel like all the places we had to arrive due to what we've been through. Not getting married because of what we've been through, because of who we transformed into to get married. Mm. And I feel like we wouldn't have been those people at that time. And I'm not saying that it couldn't have happened. I just know, like, for example, like I said, say you did propose at the time. And I just know for a fact certain things would have happened that I would have never got over and I would have felt more strong on it because we were married. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing I, how you look at something when you're just boyfriend and girlfriend, but now, nigga, we're married. Oh, mm. you really got me messed up. Like, mm. you really, no, I, I really should really dig no, your grave. I, I, like, I, for I, real. I get it. It's just, I don't know, just looking back on it, it's hard to, like. But I get your point. It's, it's sound a, like, a for fair me, point. it's like, it's, it's all in vain. Like, I hate it. Like, looking back on it, like, I could have been. But, it's, shit, but I it would have been the same thing. It was like, it was like okay, you get married, and then you just go through all this shit while you're married. Now you hate your wife. Now you cheating. He cheating. Y'all got side bitches and side niggas. And, like, you know how many marriages are, like, in those spaces? Like, child, we're not going to break up because to death do us part. But you do you. I do me. And that's just what it is. We walking around. We ain't really happy. But we here because we're you, married. You seen that? Remember that video? 